this is your goons. My name is Alex, and welcome back to Mega Man. This is it, folks. The finale. We're going to be tackling the rest of Wily's Fortress. And, uh, this is... Well, technically, this is stage two. We won't get into stage three for a little bit. And, yes, I do make a bunch of, um... Uh... Uh... uh a bunch of rookie mistakes. So, you know. Like that. <laughs> But, but actually, what I just did earlier was actually a good example of um, how the jump is kind of shit in this game. <laughs> oh, right. Also, uh, there was a thing going on for uh, PSN at the time. And I managed to get a couple of uh, free games. One of them was uh, Streets of Rage 4. I really do need to play that sometime. But... Anyway, yeah, I, I I got a little bit frustrated because, well, I mean, like, this is that one part of the game where you need all the health that you can possibly get if you want to make it comfortably through the rest of the, through the rest of the level, and, well, it's, it's, it's just pretty annoying. So, uh, right there, uh, is an is a pit, but we will actually be heading there a little bit later. Well, actually, we're be heading right now, and and it's time for a speed edit. So, yeah, basically, uh, this uh, this lays the foundation for a uh, a Mega Man a, a Mega Man uh. uh a uh, a Mega Man uh, tradition. Sorry, just I can't think of words sometimes. Okay, so basically, uh, at the end of the game, all of the robots that you uh, that um, you battled and uh, beaten will be um, rebuilt. Though they should be a lot easier this time around, considering that you have their weapons. Well, you have their weaknesses, but, you know, doesn't, it doesn't always work. So, yeah, um, so, uh, w what I did was that I speed through the, um, actual fights, because, you know, they're not that, uh, they're, uh, they're not that much different compared uh, to everyone else. Well, compared to their, uh, previous encounters, so, you know. And also thank God for the rerun feature, because I would be up shit creek without a paddle if it wasn't for this thing. And also, I'm not... Also, I got no idea why the, uh, jump button is so weird for this particular port, and I decided to go without the, uh, weapon ammo. <clears throat> Though the magnet beam really, really could have helped here, but oh right, uh, a fireman's weapon. I never got to show that one off actually. Though I may do it for this next fight. It's been a little while since I've uh, seen this footage, but I think I will actually. And that one up is definitely where the magnet beam would have came in handy. Also, um, uh, wait, actually, what did I do? Did I, okay, so I just, uh, refilled, uh, the elect beam, though, uh, if I didn't, uh, do that, the magnet beam would definitely let me get that, uh, that, um, one up, though it probably wouldn't have mattered because of the spikes, because spikes are instant death in this game, in fact, they are for a lot of games, actually. Uh, Mario, Sonic, just almost everyone, right? But we have a... Oh, no, uh, uh, it's not quite yet. Uh, so, if I remember right, we just need to go down. Uh, as soon as... As soon as it passed me, figures out what the hell to do. <laughs> and yeah, I I I am overly precaution. I am overly cautious 
when it comes to this segment because god damn just god damn So, I decided to screw the weapon energy and decided to just YOLO it. Um, which, kind of a pain because I don't have a lot of health. So, you know, it, uh, it sort of is what it is. But, hey, but hey, lots of weapon energy. You, you can't go wrong with that, can you? And, and actually, I was kind of lucky. Though, I do wish that it was health. But, you know. Okay, so here is the oh, so here is the new boss battle. This is against the Mega Clone. Basically, uh, basically a, bleh, sorry. So uh, this machine right here will copy uh will copy uh Mega Man with whatever weapon he has right now, and I do believe that he can switch. But um. But uh, I just decided to uh, take the L on that one because I wasn't gonna make it with um, with uh, that low health. So, you know. Uh, though I believe his though I believe his weakness is the is a uh, fireman's weapon. I could be wrong on that. Uh, because I have seen people use the uh, pause glitch with the elect beam on him. And I was trying to get that to work, but it didn't really work. So, yeah. And also, uh, he hurts a lot. Oh wait, oh wait, he uh, he just uh, oh wait, damn it, sorry, words. Okay, so here is uh, a fireman's weapon. I actually kind of like it because, like, not only does it shoot something, uh. Not only does it shoot a projectile, but it also causes a shield, which can also hurt. So that is neat. But um, but uh, as I was saying with the uh, with the uh, mega clone, um, w when you change a weapon, it'll instantly do the same. I I, I, I just remembered that. But you know, at least that's the second stage done. And I only lost a life during that during uh, that particular stage, so I'm okay with that. I'm more than okay with it. So, um, I believe I'm just uh, grinding for ammo, or well, I tried anyway. <laughs> wasn't wasn't really gonna get much out of it, so. Okay, so as soon as I'm done, uh, as soon as I'm saving, <laughs> there we go. Well, sort of. Yeah. And it kind of is what it is. So, uh, do that, that, and go down. Now, uh, I am trying to not get hit much because we have a boss. Uh, pretty much immediately after a, um, a sort of an automated sequence, which is right now. So, basically, this whole thing is flooded with water, and you need to keep moving until the end of the stage. But you need to watch out for these, uh, penguin guys. And they will explode, so, uh, so don't just shoot at them all willy-nilly, okay? You know, uh, sometimes it's better to just jump and avoid an enemy rather than just plain out shoot them. And yes, the bomb guys from uh, from uh, Bomb Man stage are uh, are here too. So yeah, uh, pretty much the same deal. But after all of that, you get the boss. Now, uh, it's pretty obvious which weapon that you're supposed to use, but, um, but I would, uh, I would kind of recommend that you not use that, especially with, um, uh, especially, um, Electman's, uh, uh, weapon, and just try to shoot them with, uh, with your, um, with your, uh, normal Mega Buster, because you're, uh, because your shots do travel through, and they aren't that strong, especially when you can, uh, when you can, um, read the pattern. 
so there's eight of these things in total. We already got through three, so just one, so just one more, and we'll be at the second half of the fight. Or, or actually, I think I just, um, I think I just uh, jumped the gun there, but yeah, that's whatever. So yeah, uh, those blocks will take those guys out in practically one hit. But you also need to keep in mind that you are not invulnerable while you're holding a block. So, yeah. It is it is kind of annoying, but, you know, once you get it, you're good. And that's the last time that we'll ever, that we'll ever use a Gutsman's weapon, believe it or not. Because um, now we're getting into the final stage, which has the final edit of the video, and uh, I'm not too sure if you noticed, but I have been using a song throughout uh, throughout um, most of this fight. Um, uh, uh, it, uh, I don't, I, I don't know the full name of the artist, but I, I think it's a Nefix. And titled "Just Breathe," I and and, uh, and also you may have noticed that I was using it in my uh, Spider-Man uh, PS4 playthrough. So yeah, he he's a really good he's a really good um, uh, singer songwriter whatever you'd like to call it, but you know. Okay, so I probably just wasted the so I wasted a good chance for a, a weapon pickup there, but you know, uh, these guys can spawn uh well they can drop uh some weapon ammo, but you know, uh, it's uh it's just um RNG whether or not they do it in the first place. So thank you, thank you to Rolling Cutter. People like to say that a Lek Beam is uh, the best weapon in the game, which which I uh, uh, I do fully agree with. But the Rolling Cutter is not a bad alternative, you know? Okay, so now I have this one segment from a uh, fucking... Uh, 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 Gutsman's level. And technically you can just uh, use the Mana Beam to skip over this whole thing. Uh, there's also a 1-Up and... And a f what is it? Uh, a Saishin? but but it's a one-time only thing, so you know. Uh, it would refill your uh, weapons and stuff, but you know, I I would rather not risk it. And now we get into the boss rush of the game. Thankfully, thankfully, uh, future installments would would uh, streamline this so that way you can battle the boss in well you can battle the the bosses in any order you want and here I tried to use the uh, pause glitch again on fireman then and it didn't really work the first time so you know um, you're gonna be seeing me um you're gonna be seeing me uh, restart quite a few times so because I will admit, I don't quite understand how the pause glitch works uh, uh, sometimes, but, you know. And also, please excuse the fry flickering that will happen on occasion in the game. And its sequel is actually a lot more, uh, is actually a lot more infamous for it than that. So, uh, I decided, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to use the um, Iceman weapon, but that kind of worked. I lost a ton of my health, but... You know, that was probably just because I suck at the game. And and then we had and then we have Iceman, which thankfully uh, a pause glitch was able to work this time. And unfortunate but Well actually it's okay, so now we're on to Gutsman, and I actually hate him. In case it wasn't obvious, I I, I, I I hate Gutsman. I hate how when he jumps on the ground, it freaking uh, stuns you for like a few seconds, so he can so he can chuck a so he can chuck a block at you. I really freaking hate that. And in hindsight, what I should have done 
was use uh, the elect beam and the pause glitch. Though I got no idea how long it would have taken because uh, that is not his weakness. But then again, same goes for Fireman and the elect beam. But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. So, yeah, just... Gutsman, I hate because I think his pattern is so erratic along with the jump and block uh, combo I mentioned earlier and his weakness is one of the worst weapons in the game because like I never use this thing outside of just trying to kill this guy like you see that like fucking like ugh, god damn you guts man I hate him so freaking much but thankfully that's the last time that we need to deal with him and it's on to Wily. Now, I will have to die because my uh, health is pretty damn low. But there is a neat little glitch that you can do. Well, actually, I, I shouldn't say I, I, I shouldn't say it like it's a new thing because, well, it's the same old thing. So first, so first off, this is the Wily Machine One. Basically, at the end of every Mega Man game, you have this little thing involving Wily inside a contraption called the Wily Machines. Now, um, as you can see, the pause glitch does wonders on this thing. But an alternative is that you can use the rolling cutter. But you need to hit that pink thing in particular. Now, the reason that this isn't... The reason that I would have to die here is mainly due to those uh, projectiles that that the first phase can uh, shoot at you. So, yeah. And while you don't get a a full um, a full uh, weapon restore like with some other games, you do get a full health restore, and this item pickup will always uh, respawn. Though, do not lose all your lives to get all of your weapons uh, refilled. That is a boneheaded move, okay? So, uh, second verse, uh, same as the first. So, you know, just use the pause glitch. So that way you can score a lot of hits on the Wily Machine, mainly in the pink center. And uh, you're actually going to get your money's worth out of in the second phase too, which is right now. So you need to hit that pink, that pink jewel, but just, but just try to be wary of, of the, um, of how far the elect beam travels and those, uh, curly and those, uh, circling, uh, projectiles. They are a pain in the ass for this fight. So yeah, just, uh, so yeah, just a good pause glitch and Wily is no more. Although, if you want the official weakness, it is the rolling cutter. I just did this because, well, I didn't want this fight to go on any longer than needed, so. And now is a tradition of Dr. Wily being like, Please forgive me! I don't know why I gave him such an annoying voice, but, yeah, whatever. And with that, that is Mega Man 1 done. Yeah. It's not a long game by any stretch of the imagination. It is... Well, like, it's not a long game if you know what you're doing or if you take advantage of what the, um... what the, um... Uh, anniversary collection has to offer, but... Yeah. So, um... After Wily is defeated, uh, the true battle between, uh... A uh, good and evil is not over, and that pretty much opens the door for uh, potential sequels. Although surprisingly, this game didn't do so well. Like it was, like it just didn't sell well enough for the public at the time. But but uh, Capcom actually allowed the developers of this game to create a sequel. So long as they did it in their free time and and focused on some other projects that Capcom had. So and and uh and uh and, and Mega Man 2 is often considered one of the best games ever created. And for the classic series is considered or is actually hailed as the absolute best. But 
Also, just real quick, I don't like this particular design for a civilian Mega Man. It just looks weird. Anyway, so, uh, Mega Man 1. I mean, like, play this on the Anniversary Collection, first of all. Because it is a little bit more forgiving. Uh, if you want a bit more of a challenge, you can play it on original hardware, but I wouldn't recommend it. But, uh, uh, but that's gonna do it for me. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new around here. The next milestone we'll be celebrating is 500 subscribers. So until next time, Special Goons, remember, reach for the stars.